Sefa is a high density suburb. That is the oldest in area in Mutare, which is a city in the eastern part of Zimbabwe. My name is Lucy Ankomu. I am the director of Rebuild Sakuva. That's a trust that was put up by people who wanted to improve the lives of people in Sakuva. So far, Sakuva is known for the wrong reasons. There's high crime rate, uh, prostitution, uh, high school dropouts. But even amongst all these things, we have other good and positive things that are coming out of Sakuva and one of them is one child that we will introduce to you as the video goes on. His name is Dylan Bojo who is an 18 year old boy who is making inventions from scrap materials that is picking up from the dump site. Hello Zimbabwe, my name is Dylan Leroy Bojo. I'm an upper sixth student at First Class Academy. I'm doing MPC, Maths Fees Camp. As Rebuild Sakuva, we felt it was part of our mandate to support him, to help him, to say, okay, what can your invention do in order to improve the lives of the people um, who, who are in Sakuva and also how can he put his brains to good use so that even the country at large will improve. So we are going to show you, we have a tour of some of the inventions that he's been doing so far and areas where he needs support because as an organization we have gone to a point where we can't help him anymore but we i believe out there there might be some people who are interested in science and technology who have the capacity to help him realize his dreams to help him put up his ideas together and come up with inventions that can be used for the benefit of humankind and the community at large Beside me is my lovely invention, the Gay Gamula counter. But this one is the Bojo counter, it's better than Gay Gamula. This is a Bojo iron counter, it's in the name of the invention, so it comprises of uh, mainly the voltmeter because uh, there is this uh, relationship between voltage and, uh, and radiation and uh, there is this uh, adapter which I have picked up from a local dump and there is this aluminium frost plates tube which I have picked up from the dump as well. There's this uh, coil which I have picked up from another broken TV and this laser which I have taken from a, an old VCR set. And there's this uh, rough constructed circuit which I have uh, mm, roughly made, you know, it's a homemade circuit and these cables which are all connecting the circuit to make the circuit complete. Um, the this invention can just it can assist the community this way because uh, there is this uh, hypothesis of a large increasing number of people who are getting cancer. But uh, the uh, the cancer, I, I I just suspect that some of the cancer is being caused from the radiation so this is a radiation detector it's more advanced than a Gengamula radiation counter because not only does it gives uh, not only does it give sound it also gives reading it specifies the number of radiation the the cancer part is uh, people are getting cancer every day some of these is because of highly radioactive elements we have here in Africa and this um, we have the high UV ultraviolet radiation because the sun heat the heat the sun's heat is just ionizing some of the rocks we have in Africa causing uh, a, 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 a radioactive decay and a spontaneously increase of energy which 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 weakens our immune systems immune system and uh, 
we are likely to to suffer from cancer and other diseases uh, this can assist the community in detection of uh, of diseases and detection of uh, radiation which are being emitted from the environment uh, even uh, a person emit radiation is a type of a radiation which is emitted by a person, the type of radiation which is emitted by animals, it's all in us. Uh, while most people consider the dump site as an area for unwanted things, an 18-year-old boy who lives in Sakuba by the name Dylan Bojo is found the dumpster, a place where he can find materials to come up with inventions like this one that you see me standing beside. This is an assimilation of the gay gamula uh, iron counting machine which counts the amount of radiation that is in the environment but according to Dylan with all these things that he has put up together he has come up with his own invention that can help us to reduce some of the cases that we are coming across especially cases of cancer and other diseases that are bringing complications to the health system and the healthy delivery system in our country even in southern Africa with this machine if it is well supported especially by the people in the business fraternity and captains of industry. We are very sure that if we can place this machine in strategic places, the radiation will be measured and would know how much radiation is in the environment, thereby making it safer for the people to live in. I'm sure with this invention, we can have uh, reduced cases of cancer as far as Dylan is concerned. This is my drone, uh, it's better than the Saratonga Model 3, uh, I just made it from uh, a few components which I picked from a dump star and a broken toy, uh, this can be used in, in the filming industry, this can be used in the aviation industry, filming and photography again, uh, this can be used in agriculture. He made this from parts that he picked up uh, from the dumpster. This small drone can be used in the agriculture sector. Uh, he also said he can, if given enough support that he's looking for, you make a drone that can be used even in firefighting. In that way, we will save lives instead of having people to go out there to, um, to put out fires, especially in the mountains or in the forest. Drones can be sent with the water and then they'll put out the fires. What he really needs now is maybe support to make sure he buys or he gets the other components. He needs to make this thing work and be better than what we already have that is existing out there. What it just happened beside me, it was like, uh, it was a highly exothermic kind of, uh, chemical reaction. By what I mean by exothermic is the reaction is abadiatic. It produces more heat. So we am reacting some nitroglycerin and some metal, just some metal nitrates, which I'm reacting. This uh, can be used in manufacturing of uh, the, 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 the fireworks, can be used in manufacturing of uh, powerful missile, intercontinental missile, it can be used in manufacturing uh, V8 engines, uh, rocket uh, propelled cars, it can be used in, uh, uh, for, for, for rockets for space discovery. Uh, so how this can help the community? The community, we can start producing these uh, um, fireworks for just like uh, New Year's festive seasons, special gatherings and we can start uh, making money, creating employment. Uh, the locally found hedge 
which is uh, surrounding us here in Sakuba community. So I took this edge and made fuel because of the, we were experiencing a lot of power cuts. My grandmother needed uh, something to cook with in a farmer stove. Uh, and even this fuel can help the community at large because a lot of people they are, they, they are buying firewood but uh, we have a locally available material which is surrounding us it can be used again in the aviation sector for drive for, for aeroplanes and for, for other rockets as well um, because of its, uh, of its high enthalpy of combustion uh, it burns so well with, in oxygen. It's a uh, highly volatile, meaning that it evaporates easily. It's a highly concentrated ethanol. How how I made this fuel is uh, by fermentation, fermentation of uh, glycerin. And, um, we are we are importing the fuel we are using in our cars, and uh, it's being processed there at Feruka Fuel Refinery. But if we can make our own fuel, that means we, we don't care about uh, coal and fossil fuels which uh, we are using every day. And these fuels, mind you, they are causing a lot of damage to our ozone layer, which is uh, causing floods and sort of like that, amino and amino. And so if we can use this fuel, it's biodegradable, it's uh, environmentally friendly, so, and it's cheap to make. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you've all seen what Dylan is capable of doing. Even as I'm speaking right now, he's working on a watch that we think is the next best thing to improving the health sector, not only in Zimbabwe, but in the world at large. This watch can be used to reduce uh, domestic violence that is rife in, uh, in, in most parts of the world. This, this watch can detect impact as well as detect diseases like sexual transmitted infections and also if the person who's wearing the watch is being attacked, the watch will actually send some signals to the police and to the hospital. And these watches will be recorded just like we record the SIM card. <laughs> Back in the days, we used to laugh at him, to tell you the truth. We used to say, uh, you will not get far enough, because what he did back in those days, we used to think that he was nuts or something. But now we now see that it's a gift from God. And what he's doing is truly beautiful. So to all those out there, we are just asking only if you can help him to supply him with what he wants through the build circle. For all those who feel they would want to help Dylan Bojo, please use the contact details that are coming through at the bottom of the screen.
58, I'm on it. He's all they gotta say, I'm on it. Since 1958, I'm on it. A billion girls in the world, with beauty and smile.